We have another student, former student, Justin, <coughs> graduated in 2011 from Crossroads and then last month from Charlotte High School. Justin, if you'd come up and share what you have to say. And after what Mr. Kriegel's aide said, it's a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, and you are the people, and the Crossroads is of the people, and we need to, we're going to say at the end, and we'll say it now before Justin speaks, we want to need to contact the governor's office as much as we can. If you go out into the community and share this with five people, at the power in numbers. Justin, please. Good evening, everyone. It is a big honor for me to be able to stand here representing Crossroads. I would like to share with you the events of my life before, during, and after Crossroads. I was once a victim of domestic abuse, both physically and emotionally. I wouldn't seek help. I would just run away from home, and eventually I got arrested and put on probation for domestic violence, which I was innocent for. I didn't speak in court out of fear, and I was given a year of probation. I still ran away from home on probation because I couldn't take what was going on at home because it got worse. I eventually signed the paperwork to go to Crossroads. On my way there, I doubt I was start, I started doubting everything that I'd chosen. I didn't think it would work. Um, when I looked up and realized that it was a campus and not a locked-in facility, I became more comfortable. I've seen drug users get clean and go home happy. I've seen fighters calm down and go home a new man. I may not have been a lawbreaker or drug user, but I did learn things that helped me today. I was never a follower, but I, was, I also was not a leader. I was independent, but I learned that I can be independent, but I can also lead others, which I did. There was still one flaw. I was helping others before I was helping myself. I helped somebody learn something they didn't know and helped someone who was close to rank stay to themselves and not get in trouble. As a progress in Crossroads, I connected with three people, two staff members, one who started at the same time I did and one who came towards the end of my stay, Mr. Tony and Mr. Vincent. Mr. Tony was the one who made my time go by, being an outgoing person whom I shared multiple laughs and made me forget about my problems. Mr. Vincent came with a big heart and gave me advice and encouragement that would uplift me and make me feel great. But I have to say that John Davidson is a man. If there were any problems or, or anything you needed, he was there. He has inspired me the most still today, and still today I can count on him for help. But I learned a quote that I learned at Crossroads that I want to share with you guys. It's, love fails only when you fail to love. I go, I, that, that's what I do nowadays, I go by that quote, because it has helped me today, and hopefully it would help you guys later on. Today I've taken the ASVAB, and I plan to join the Army. And my future is bright, thanks to Crossroads. If it weren't for Crossroads, I would have never gotten here. I would probably have ran away from home for the last time, and probably would never made it back. If I would have taken off from home, I would not be able to see the man I would have looked in the mirror. But now I can look in the mirror and say, thank you, Crossroads, for making me the person that I am today. Thank you. Thank you.